Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Joanne. Back again. Miss Julie is not with us right now because she just had to go to a meeting. So she's not here. But I am. Let's start with figuring out. Oh, where, oh here's. Oh, I already took everything off of it. Let's start by figuring out what day it is. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Kind of did that fast, so let's see what you could get out of that. Yesterday was Tuesday. So what does that make today? There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Anybody know? Wuh, wuh, wuh. Says that sound. Which one of these start with a wuh, wuh sound? Sunday or Wednesday? Which one sounds like it starts with the wuh sound? If you said Sunday, no, I'm sorry, that's not right. That's, the right answer is Wednesday. So today is Wednesday, which means tomorrow, the day after today, will be days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and then there's Friday, or there's Monday and there's Friday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Th, th. Thursday. TH says th. I wish you could see my face, but you can't. Well, I mean, you can see that part, but I meant my mouth so you could see how I'm making that sound. But soon enough, and then Miss um, Cindy will work on that as well. I work with her every day, and I can't think of her name. So, as we were yesterday. We're getting very down to the end of end of April. See, look at that. The very end we have 25, 26, 27, and 20. What comes after 7? 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Would it be 28 because of the eight or 29 because of the nine? What would come after 27? That would be 28. So today is. Dun, 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 dun. Wednesday, April 28th, 2021 or 2021. That's today's date and the number day it is. Look at this. We only have two more days left of school. That's the weekend. So we're almost, when we come back after this weekend, we'll be in May. Oh my goodness. Already? Already. Wow. So. Our letter is J. Can you think of something that starts with J? Hmm. My name, Joanne. Oh, yes, very good. How about anybody else in the class? Yep, Josiah and Jeremiah. Very good. What else? Jax. Those are little things that we, you used to play a game with where you bounce the ball and you're trying to pick up the jacks before the ball comes back down and catch the ball. I was not very good at it. I was not very coordinated at anything. How about jungle? That's one of the environments on Earth. The jungle, that's where the lions and snakes, and well, there's snakes live everywhere, but I mean the big snakes. And the tigers and monkeys that live in different kinds of jungles. What else? <gasps> Junk. 
Like I have too much junk in my house. I gotta, I gotta go through it. Junk, just it accumulates. Jelly beans, little candies that are, look like beans or eggs that they have at Easter time, and a really um, a southern dish that can be a little spice, quite spicy, jambalaya. I know, weird word I used. And our number, if I can get it out here, our number is 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 0, 10. There are two digits that make up the number 10. Today, we probably already read it. I don't know, is it bent? Maybe not, because I don't see that it's bent. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite kid books. Rainbow Fish. Well, The Rainbow Fish. And it's by Marcus Fister. Isn't he pretty? He's all different colors and then he's shiny too. Oh, I was going to have... I don't have all that stuff, so... I have a list of things that you could have together to... Oh, I have another picture of it. Manipulative lives, but I don't really have all of them. So here's another picture of rainbow fish. Isn't he pretty? Look at that. How many shiny... Well, maybe the these are kind of blended together, so we'll look for a different um, picture that we'll be able to see better. See how many shiny scales it has. I just wanted to plug that back in because it gets dull on this side if it's not plugged in. Oh my goodness, and we're almost out of battery, so good thing I plugged it back in. It hasn't been that long. See? Because I can't tell. Well, we'll count those as three. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve minus the little squiggly ones. So on this side, 12, but I'm sure he has more on the other side of him too. So pretty, and then he has all the different colors. That's probably why they call him a rainbow fish. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it to us. A beautiful fish lived in the ocean. His scales, that's what you call the what's all over the outside body of a fish, are blue, green, purple, and shiny silver. Ooh. Let's see. That, that seems about right. I don't, maybe your end it looks a little better. This is, this is green actually in the picture, and this is green, in the, well you can tell that one's green. Pretty, pretty, pretty. There he is again. He's swimming around, and there's another little fish looking at him, <gasps> and some shells. One, two, two shells. His name is Rainbow Fish. The other fish ask Rainbow Fish to play. Rainbow Fish swam away. <gasps> That's not very nice. The other fish asked him to play. I guess that's what he's doing in this picture. This is a weird one because the pictures are on a different page. I guess he was at, went up to ask him to play and he swam away and that's why he looks like that. He looks a little sad. Hey, I was talking to him and he just swam away. I was asking him to play. That's not very nice. And there's probably more of it. He's trying to talk to him and he keeps swimming away. How rude. The little blue fish, that's what he is. Ask Rainbow Fish for one of his shiny scales. Please, Mr. Rainbow Fish, you have so many. 
Look at all those shiny scale, sh scales. You have so many. Could I just have one, please? Let's see what, he's not, what he says. <gasps> Uh-oh. Rainbow Fish was angry and yelled, No, go away. The little blue fish swam away and felt sad. He swam away and felt sad. No fish wanted to be Rainbow Fish's friend. Well, he's not acting like a good friend, so you can understand why. They try to play with him. He swims away. He talks to him about a, sh a shiny scale, and he yells at him. All he had to say was, no, thank you. I don't want to. I, I need them all or something. There's shiny uh, Rainbow Fish now. He's, he's down with what looks like a starfish. Let's see. Oh, what color is that starfish? Can you see it? Is that purple or red? It's right here. That's red. Rainbow fish was lonely. Well, then I guess he shouldn't have made everybody not want to play with him. Rainbow Fish asked Starfish for help. Starfish told Rainbow Fish to see the wise octopus. Called an octopus because he has eight arms or legs, whatever you want to call them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed one. So that's who he, he's asking. Does no one want to play with me? And he says, go ask the octopus. So, away goes Rainbow Fish, swimming away, looking here and there, looking everywhere to find Mr. Octopus. That's kind of scary. He likes to live like in dark cave areas. Ooh. Rainbow Fish found the wise octopus. The octopus was in a dark cave. And that's how we described it. Maybe I should maybe I should have the what I'm reading first and then the pictures. So he was in the dark cave. Rainbow fit oh, we already read that you found him. Octopus told Rainbow Fish to give a shiny scale to his friends. Octopus said, you will be happy. He's telling them, you need to share. That's pretty much what he's saying. Why don't you give one to each friend? So share them. Look at all he has. He has so many of them. Sharing will make you happier. He is so pretty though, isn't he? Would you like a fish like this at home? If I had a tank, I wouldn't mind having a fish like this at home. That'd be cool. Rainbow Fish said, I will be sad without my shiny scales. Aww. How do you think he's about? He lost all his shiny scales. He'd look different, that's for sure. Little blue fish swam back and asked for one shiny scale. Again? Let's see the picture. Yep, yep. he turned around. And he came back to Mr. Rainbow Fish, but now there's no starfish or octopus. We have a nice lobster there. Mm -mm -mm. He can go to my house. And a couple of uh, anemones. I, and then I have a hard time with that word, so I'm leaving it at that. <gasps> What's happening in this picture? Rainbow 
little fish gave him one shiny scale. Little blue fish was happy. Rainbow fish was happy. They were both happy. It made he was happy to get one of them, so he's reaching out to get one. There's the one he's given him. And he was happy sharing with him because he knew it made him happy. And look, he still had plenty of shiny scales, even though he gave that one away. So they're both happy. Oh, look at There he is. He has the shiny scale on him. There's some clam. I think that's an oyster, supposedly. The other fish saw the shiny scale. They wanted a shiny scale. Rainbow fish gave his friends one shiny scale. Rainbow fish was not lonely. Oh, because he's sharing his scales with his friends, they're happy, and then it makes him happy, and it means they want to be all together, so he's not lonely. He has his fish friends around him. Do you know, you come here to go to school, and that's what they call a group of fish, a school? Just thought I'd tell you that. <gasps> You can see the shiny scales on all the fish. It's hard to see, from the re but they each have one here or there. How many fish are there in this picture? Well, we got the little head of one sticking out, so we'll count him too, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Remember, six is the number where we have to start using two hands to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six friends that he gave shiny scales to. Look, he looks a little less shiny right here, but happy. Maybe that's more important, to share and be happy. Rainbow Fish had one shiny scale. Rainbow Fish now had many friends. <gasps> oh yeah, look, he only has one left. He's just like his friends. Everyone has just one. Sorry, I can't have a hard time getting the papers separated. Oh, that was the end. Rainbow Fish was happy because he shared. Remember we've talked about sharing? That is nice to share with your friends if you have something to share with them because they may not have something. And that's also kindness and we've talked a lot about that too, to be kind to one another. So I thought we'd do a counting activity, counting animals. But I went with it mostly because it had fish. Not a rainbow fish, but it had fish. Okay, let's see. So we have to count the different kinds that we have and write them in there. Let me get my pen, my whiteboard pen. There we go. So do we want to start here at the alligator? Sure. Or crocodile. How many crocodiles or alligators do you see in here? This is what we're looking for. Do you see any that look like this? Is that one? And it's the only one, so we have one crocodile. And I'll cross them out so we don't count them twice. Not that we have to count them again, but just to make it easier. This dries out so fast, let me put the lid on. What's our next? Next is the quack quack duck. Quack quack. And he's yellow, a yellow duck. Let's find how many. This is what we're looking for. Oh, there's one right there because he's right above him. So this right here is what we're looking for. So let's go across and look and see if we see any more. That's still our first one, but you know what? I'll put a little one. So we already know we counted him. <gasps> is that another one? Does that look the same? 
put a little two above him. Two. Okay. Is that one? No. That's Mr. Crocodile because I see that we put an X on him because we already did him. Oh, is that one? Yes. That's number three. Doesn't write all that well. You can, it's hard to see the three. So we have one, two, three. Do you see any more ducks? Is this a duck? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Which one looks like it should be saying quack, quack? That's another duck. So here we had three. So now we have four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's write that down. So we know we counted all of them. I put the numbers right by them. What's next? Well, I'll let you guys decide. Do you want to do the fish or the whale? Fish or whale? Stick with the fish because we're going this way? Fine with me. So that's what we need to find right now is Mr. Fish. I'm trying to figure out how I can get it as close so you can, as big as possible. There you go. There's our fish. It's like orangey with yellow spots. Do we see any more of him up here? Do we see any there? That's look just like him. Oh, we already counted him because he's a duck. We didn't count him, but is that the same? No. Let's go up a row. How about this? Is that a fish? Does it look the same as that fish? Yes, so we have one fish so far. So let me make sure I mark the right one because I'm looking backwards, looking forwards. So we have one fish right there. Okay, so we're looking for Mr. Fish. Let's keep looking, see if we see any other fish. Oh, right next to him is number two. One, two. Okay, we're at Mr. Alligator now. And we already know he's not a fish. No, that's a duck. No. <gasps> is that another fish? Do they look the same? This one and this one? Yes, another fish. So we have three fish. Of course, it would help if I hold it up high enough so you could see. So we have one crocodile, four ducks, three fish, and now we just have to find our blue whale. We'll start here so we, we're as close as we can be. We're looking for him. Blue, right off the spot, right off the top. There's one of our little whales. Oh, let me put this lid back on because it dries out, like I said, easily. There we go. One blue whale. Let's keep looking for a blue whale. Wait, wait. Oh, oh no, that's a yellow duck. Oh, that's it. No, he scares me. Blue whale. <gasps> Is that the same? Yes, that's another blue whale. Uh, can't write very well because now it's dried out. But So let's see if we have one more. Here's one. Oh, that's another duck. Is that another blue whale? Looks like it to me. So let's put a little number on him. He's the number three. Well. Well, oh, now this really has dried out. Three. I'll show you what we got here. Three. So we have one crocodile, four ducks, three fish, and three whales. Now, if I was to ask you, which one do you have more of? Which one do you have more? That means a greater number of. One, four, or three. Well, let's see, when we count, the greater number would count be a, the later number. One, two, three, four. So we have the most 
something on here is we have four ducks. That's the most. Which one has the least number of pictures on here? Is it the whale or the fish? No, three and three. They're kind of equal. Well, how about Mr. Crocodile? Sneaky as can be. <gasps> one. So Crocodile is less. He's less than all of them. There are less crocodiles than there are ducks. There are less crocodiles than there are fish. And there are less crocodiles than there is whales. That's good. Because they're not very nice. Well, maybe the, they're baby crocodiles, but I don't know. I don't know many other people that they're, or things that they're nice to, people. I don't know, I never came up to one and I really don't want to. They're kind of scary looking. I just wanted to get all that off of there before something happened. And I think I could start another activity, but I think that'll be good for now. Oh, God, I miss you guys. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great night and be good. And watch out for crocodiles. They might be crossing the road, okay? Bye.